If you are stuck with The Sims 4 Legacy Edition but actually have a Windows operating system that is 64-bit and now you want to revert to the Standard Edition, then this is the guide for you. Coming up. Hi, I'm Weezer and welcome back to WeSims, an online community where I, Weezer, help you explore simulation games like The Sims series in a more educational, interactive and more recently technical kind of way. If you like this video, please let me know by leaving a thumbs up and if you want to see more content just like this then be sure to subscribe and if you really don't want to miss an upload be sure to hit the notification bell especially if you want to see the rest of the videos that are going to be coming in through this guide if you have a look at the comment section on my first legacy edition video where i basically explain it through a step-by-step -step guide to what it is who needs it what's the purpose of it, why it's happened, then you'll see that there's a very big issue actually with 64-bit Windows players being forced to or have unknowingly had The Sims 4 Legacy Edition installed on their computers. And if you haven't watched that video, then I'll leave a little link to it up here in the corner. And in there, you can check out to see whether your computer actually needs it or if it doesn't need it and you should be able to play The Sims 4 Standard Edition without issue really. So with all that said, this guide is aimed at 64-bit Windows players who have the Legacy Edition installed and want to return to the Standard Edition. If you are a simmer with a 32-bit Windows system and you don't want to play the Legacy Edition anymore and you want to revert to the Standard Edition, then I would recommend that you keep an eye out because I do have some content planned that should be able to help with possibly, if you meet some requirements from a hardware point of view, you could be able to run the standard edition of The Sims 4, but that's in a future video, so be sure to stick around if you do want to see that. The information that I'm presenting to you today, I have researched through the official EA forums and help uh, segment of the EA support website, as well as um, some technical simmers who have been really big pillars in the community, like Sirenicht. I think that's how you say it. I've seen the name for like well over a decade, and I think you say Sirenicht. Thanks, Sirenicht, for all you do. There may be some of you who don't actually have the Legacy Edition installed, and you don't need it because your specifications are actually perfectly good for the minimum requirements of the game. However, Origin has had an issue and I think a recent update's resolved it because at least it did for me and I'm hoping it did for other people as well, where every time you started, it would tell you you need to install the Legacy Edition. If you know for a fact and you have watched my video and you have seen that you have a 64-bit system and you did not install the Legacy Edition, do not think you need to do it. I think it was just some sort of bug that went somewhere, that just came from somewhere. And you can carry on playing your game without issue. It will just pop up every time you want to play, but it's not actually going to stop you from playing. I've been playing my whole Legacy Challenge and many other save files perfectly fine while getting that notice every time I opened up Origin. But hopefully that should be fixed. So I'm going to be backing up my Sims 4 folder to the desktop, and I'm going to be doing this by simply going to where the Sims 4 is downloaded. So you just go to your documents, which is where it should be, go to Electronic Arts, and then the Sims 4. And what you're basically gonna do is you're gonna copy it. And this is a very basic way of backing up, and you're just gonna paste it on your desktop, which for me would put it on a different hard drive. So there you can see I have my Sims 4 here, and what I'm just gonna do is I'm going to rename it. So it is good practice to back up your Sims regularly, depending on how often you play. If you play every day, then back it up like at least every week. If you play couple times a month and at least every month and you should either do it onto a different uh, storage drive so if you have a c drive and a d drive and it's on the one then you should copy it over to the other like i did or a cloud backup service um, like uh, google drive or dropbox or icloud or a physical like usb um, that is big enough. So the reason why I'm backing up now is because I'm going to be installing the Legacy Edition for the sake of this video. I'm going to try and run the game with the Legacy Edition and then I want to try and switch back successfully. Here is my origin screen and you can see here that scrolling down I don't actually have the Legacy Edition installed at the moment so I'm just going to be installing this or downloading it and installing it and then I will pick it up with you again once it is fully downloaded and yeah we'll see how to switch back from there. So as you can see over here my Sims 4 Legacy Edition has been installed here more evidence that it's been installed. I'm also just going to be loading up the Sims 4 so that I can generate an 
a, a file path on my hard drive so that you can just see that the game has actually run. So I have played, or not played, I've opened up the game and you'll see here if I go to my documents, my electronic arts, there's now The Sims 4 Legacy Edition here. And The Sims 4 Legacy Edition, when I open it, it theoretically has my saves here. I'm not about to try and open up the saves in the, in the game because this, yeah, it, it may lead to some big issues given that all of these saves are post Legacy Edition and only saves that are um, generated before the Legacy Edition update are actually gonna work. The Sims 4 Legacy Edition transplants all of it. My mods, which is basically just map updates. So yeah, now you can see the Sims 4 Legacy Edition is here in full swing. So how to fix this? Because I am on a 64-bit system and I do not need to use it, just like those of you who are watching this. And what we are going to be doing now is we are going to be switching back to the standard edition. And it's actually quite simple and doesn't physically involve uninstalling the legacy edition. So I'm gonna go to origin and then we're gonna go to my library and you're gonna see here my Sims 4. So what you're gonna do here, you're gonna right click it and you're gonna go down here to game properties. Then you're gonna see this nice little tab called advanced launch options. And you're going to go there and you're gonna see here when launching this game, the Sims 4 32 bit legacy edition. Nope, that is not what we want. The Sims 4 30, 34 bit, <laughs> no such thing. The Sims 4 64 bit. And if I press save, that that's it. It it should it should be fine. And I'm going to start the game now, which will not be able to be recorded. And I can confirm that I have just started up the Sims 4 and it is back to normal. I have online mode, I'm able to access the gallery. It is as if I never had the legacy edition installed. And there you have it. You should be able to play The Sims 4 Standard Edition without the Legacy Edition on a 64-bit system, even with it installed. Now, if switching back isn't actually enough for you, i.e. you don't want the Legacy Edition on your system at all, then there is the option to uninstall it. Bearing in mind that uninstalling it requires you to uninstall The Sims 4. There are other like more technical ways if you don't want to do that, but I'm just going to tell you the most the official way, and that is that you need to uninstall The Sims 4, and that will uninstall the Legacy Edition. Remember to make backups if you do want to keep your saves. And then when you reinstall The Sims 4 to make the active uh, decision and actively look for when it starts downloading the Legacy Edition, because now that the Legacy Edition is part of your library and it's seen as content, the game is going to see it as another DLC, basically. And it's going to, every time you update or whatever, try and install it because it thinks it's like another patch. So just bear that in mind if you do decide you want to install, uninstall it. Otherwise, just really sticking with the method that I've already outlined is going to be your simplest way forward. But if you do need that hard disk space, then this is definitely an option for you. So today's question of the day is, has this guide helped you? <laughs> I really want to make sure that the content that I make is actually helpful to people. And please let me know that in the comments. And are there any other more technical kind of guides that you would like to see? I am planning on making a couple more videos for different groups of players who have the Legacy Edition. So thank you once again for watching. I really hope that it helped and I will see you in the next video. Sul sul.